All right. Good day, everyone. We are here again to simulate using the Kongsberg Simulator. <clears throat> we are the Group 3 and we are tasked to simulate low suction sea chest filter differential pressure. The members of the group are Engine Cadets, Tolentino, Mark Vincent, Hadrake, Joseph, Libradilla, Joshua, Lacambra, Lloyd, Lumayog, Franz Dale, Lagaras, Ray Joseph, Lepitin, James Robert, Malgaso, Van Excel, and yours truly, Peña Jaffet Jan. The representative to simulate for today is Engine Cadet Hadrake Joseph. So, without further ado, let's get simulating. So, first is you have to F1 in order to start the simulation. simulation. Next is we have to ensure that the valve are normally open and the, parameter, and the parameters of the differential pressure and the low suction, uh, suction pressure is in normally level. And next is the we have to ensure that the valve are in DG1 fresh water colors and DG2 fresh water colors are normally open and also in the air condition also normally open and we have to ensure that the temperature is in an auto mode so let's let, let just wait for the warning So as you can see, there is a warning pop up in our screen. It is the fluctuating sea chest differential pressure. So we have to press OK. And then since it is in the low suction sea chest inlet valve, so we have first is we have to open the high suction sea chest inlet valve. And next is we have to close the low suction sea chest inlet valve. And in order to, re to rectify the alarm, we have to go to the malfunction in this bottom M and reset the low suction sea chest filter dirty. So once it is um, active active malfunction, we have to um, close the high suction sea chest inlet valve. Uh, first is we have to open the low suction sea chest inlet valve. Second is we have to close the high suction sea chest inlet valve. And then after that, we have to reset the High suction sea chest filter dirty valve. We have to ensure that the valve, uh, the filter is clean before we have to open the next. Uh, we have to open the next suction valve. So as you can see, we have um, the, the differential pressure, which is normal, 0 0.21, and the uh, suction suction pressure is 1.68. Again, we, let's just wait for another um, warning to pop up in our screen. So as you can see, there is a high differential pressure, dirty C chest. So we have to, since it is in a low suction, we have to open the high suction C chest inlet valve. Once it is open, we have to close the low suction in order to reset the, the malfunction alarm. So it is reset, reset active malfunction, and then now let. Uh, let's just um, close the 
high suction. I open first is we have to open the low suction which is in the valve, and then close the middle action. The the high suction which is in the valve. So we just let just wait for the another alarm, a warning, and then reset. So the warning. So the warming pop up in our screen is the plastic blocking the low CHS filter. So okay. So it is in the low suction CHS inlet valve. We have to open the malfunction and then reset the low CHS block by plastic. So we have to click reset, then close. So as, as you can see, the differential pressure is in a normal level, which is the 0 0.21 and the uh, suction pressure is a uh, 1.68 pressure.
So as you can see, we have we cannot see a, we cannot see another uh, warning in our screen. So um, I think we should wait for the given time to be done and look for this if we have a perfect score or the average score of our simulation. So uh, our 10 minutes as are fully consumed. So let, let's end this simulation. We have to press F3, then set. So um, we have um, acquired a 98.69% uh, score of our assessment. So it is passed, that's all. Yeah. <laughs>